I shall my food and the rest of my to present to you. I was on the camera of my He 
the representative of this person, the team. I want you to listen. The representative of this person, number 15, he said, if Dallas did not win the 2020 election, I will never run. Hey, you know what? Hey, you know And what we're able to have, yeah. we are taking able to have to distance the sea at our time. We will carry able to have to distance the sea to make sure that Abu Kamar will never be taken to the communal building.
l'État. À cela, l'État, that company, which is operating the largest IRO deposit in our country. Sir Joseph is right. They are renting 50 trucks from Sir Joseph. At even 90 of the 1986 constitution says, Sir Joseph should now already be a senator. This is the senator who had the audacity. He had to, the, the stomach after breaking our laws. After insulting the sanctity of our government to say he wants to be re-elected in the first country of Liberia. And guess what? His first project, when he was elected, his first project was to spearhead the unconstitutional, unlawful, illegal, immoral, and insane removal of Associate Justice Kabina Janet. So he wants to be re-elected so he can continue that project. So my dear people, this is not a message for you. It's a message for the people. Across the 428 communities in Montserrat County, the seven cities, the two statutory districts, in the borough of New Town, all the townships, the clans, the farmers. If Montserrado does not get it right, Liberia cannot get it right. Because the story of the Republic of Liberia began with the story of Montserrado County. And this is why the rescue must begin here. We must let them go. And guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Don't we are go? Don't we are go? We tired of Thank you. But guess what? I was, and we are going around. We will honor the stewardship and the guidance of the rescue team. I tell you, we will go to every nook and corner of Montserrado County. Auxiliaries, we will mount a campaign in which we will run an integrated campaign. Auxiliaries will be part of our district campaign team. The political parties will form part of it. The teachers of this country will be part of it. Civil servants will be part of it. Farmers will be part of it. Motorcycles will be part of it. Businesses will be part of it. And you know what? When I was assistant minister for trade and commerce, I saw something on the book. And this is what I saw. 26 businesses were set aside exclusively for Liberia. When I saw it, I started reading, and then I saw that as a system minister for, land, for, for commerce and trade, I was the one required to sign the renewal of license. So what did I do? I said, look, we can't make laws here. What we do, we implement at our level. So when a Lebanese or Indian, and there's a no discrimination, and I'm not apologetic about that because you know what? God placed us on this piece of real estate and endowed this land with resources for our happiness. Somebody forgot it. Somebody came travel from the Middle East with two pairs of trousers and within three years, he or she becomes a millionaire. Wow, people are going to be hungry. This is what the rescue mission is about. So, so, then I said, well, I called a team. I said, that's what we'll do. I will call, you will come to apply 
to renew your registration. And you know we have what we call anniversary registration renewal. If you register last year, December, this year, December, your registration expire. And then I will take, I will take the articles of incorporation that that business enterprise far, all those who establish it far with the Ministry of Commerce. And this is what I did. I will look at it and say, this business, I see in your article, bakery is not for you. Go and amend, remove it, and then come back before I can sign it. And I tell you, we were very effective at that. And this is why, under the rescue mission, we will not compromise. And I'm happy to have support from Senator Delon, who has been, who along with Senator Kuhn and Senator Moe and Senator Lawrence and all the other members of the rescue mission, the few reasonable voices. We are joining them so we can help our next president and next vice president to transform this country. I will close with this. I will close with this. And I will not cast it, I will not lie. I tell you what I know, and I say what I know, and speak from what I know. 26 different minerals. This country, the soil that we are sitting on, I believe it, 26 different valuable minerals. The only thing you know is what iron ore, diamond, and gold, right? But I'm speaking to you as a money engineer by training. So I speak what I know. The food you are using, the mobile phone, the mobile technology you are using, the chip in it is manufactured from a mineral that we have right here in this country. The airplane that flies over here, the chip that you use in it is manufactured from a mineral that we have in this country. And in 2005, our distinguished leaders, I was one of those who was opposed to Asylum Meta being awarded the concession agreement. And this is where we see. If you went to a hospital, you took your child or relative to a hospital, and then a medical director came to you and said, you know what, we have diagnosed your relative. Your relative must do a major surgery. But here is it. We have with us here, Dr. John Brown. He just completed his internship. So he is going to perform the surgery on your relative. Will you agree to that? No. This is the scenario we have. George, we are no experience in leadership. Sir Joseph, no experience in leadership. Thomas Fala, a plant seller who has abandoned the plant sellers. No experience in leadership. All of them are bringing drugs in this country and they say they can leave Liberia. God forbid. So Asela Meta was just coming to Liberia for as a trial. Trial. Liberia is their first project. They have never operated any major money operation anywhere. I'm saying it and I can challenge decision makers. So how can you come and experiment on me? The last one is, you cannot own a valuable mineral. The thing belongs to you. They are come to you. I said, give it to me. Let's sign a piece of paper. They are running and I pay 5% royalty to you. The thing is for me. This is what we will be taking to the Capitol building. And thank God we have the light, we have the rescue mother, we have Senator Moore, we have the next president of the Senate, and all the colleagues. I want to salute you and thank you for this opportunity. Let's begin to rescue our country. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amanda. 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 So thank you. Let me let me call our next speaker for a very brief remark. 
uh, and now for the MDR will be represented by Brother Mesco Wolo. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Let me say on the protocol that has been established by previous speakers to say I'm humble, my dear leaders. Okay, fellow Liberians, I would like to ask you one question, and I will also make one plea to you before I take my seat. This is the question. Did anyone give you $20 US to come here today? No. We pay any man money to come over the real today? No. You know, when I came here and saw the ring falling on all of us under the ring, I see true conviction in you. Unlike our colleague opposite the Lone Star Company, before people can they can pay, right? Anybody get you money to be here today? Thank you. This is a true revolution. This is my plea to you, fellow Liberians. You know, in recent history, we observed our neighboring country Guinea Guano elections. After Guinea election, there was a coup in Guinea. Our brothers and sisters in Guinea, many of them had roles after the elections. Also in La Côte d'Ivoire, we observed another election in La Côte d'Ivoire. After the election in La Côte d'Ivoire has a role, some citizens of Africa's fled the country. Just in recent times, there was an election in Sierra Leone. On Friday, the European Union came up and said that the election in Sierra Leone was a free and fair election. This is what I want you to do for me. I want all of us Liberians to join hands together, to plead with the United Nations, to plead with Apple to plea with EU, plea with AU, and diplomatic missions in Liberia to talk to George We are to allow democracy to take place in Liberia. Let George We are give democracy a chance because this election, we have won this election. We say thank you for your commitment. The future of Liberia is our children's future. Let us stand together as young people to liberate our country. We say thank you. May God bless all of us. So thank you. Thank you very much. Let me, let me also, let, let me also call for a very brief remark, Councillor Emmanuel Toure of the Rebo Alliance. Brief remark. Thank you very much. Let me join others to stand on the existing protocol and say, platform death, my respect. On behalf of the National Executive Committee, the standard bearers of um, Reginald B. Gurit and members of the Rainbow Alliance, we've come here to grace this occasion, not as a stranger, because from day one, we've been working with the United Party. So we are no strangers here. Uh, and we don't need to come with endorsement to indicate that we are working with you. But I think all of the executives of the Rainbow Alliance and other collaborating parties, as well as the United Party, know that we're working together. But before I take my seat, I know this is a joyous occasion. It's, okay, I mean, it's occasion by singing, praising, and what have you. But it's also a campaign activity. So we just want to give a few pieces of advice. In the midst of this jubilation and celebration to our campaign, the rescue mission. One. Please don't develop the entitlement and mindset that you've already won the presidency. You have to work, put your eyes together and work hard for it. Don't also be consumed by the illusion that your candidate is the most favorite or most popular. It's an illusion. It requires what? Hard work. Campaign vigorously, strategically, meticulously, in order to 
to win the presidency. It's no joke. Next. Don't take anything for granted. In George, we are Liberia. Don't take anything for granted. Every person, village, hamlet, city, district, country, matters. There where the voters are, you have to go after the voter. Huh? Because there where the vote are. And don't stop winning hearts and minds. This campaign is about winning hearts and minds. We have already said, Sedition don't listen. That's not true. They, even if they can't listen, they are feeling it. So you need to go to them to talk to them. We already have all of you as, as our supporter, right? So we don't need to convince you. We have to go out there so convince a non-supporter. It's an advice. Let's take it seriously. Next. Though Facebook and other social media are valuable. But I beg you, this campaign team, this rescue mission, please don't waste all of the valuable time responding to Facebook posts or other social media posts. Remember that the vast majority of our people are in villages and towns that don't have access to internet. But because of time, the MC is already telling them about time, but they are valuable, and probably we will have the time to, to meet with the campaign yeah. team and then. Yeah. But lastly, I want to say the real campaign work must be done. And where? It must be done in the war room. And what? The message should be taken out there by the post soldiers. The post soldiers must reach to every town, village, and hamlet. Moravia is for all of us. Darren Dillon said we already captured Moravia. So we don't need to focus on Moravia, we need to focus on the villages. So we work with the campaign team. We already started talking with the campaign chairman and others on the campaign team. We work with the campaign team to proffer most of this advice or pieces of advice to help the campaign. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's the number? HOR 67 over, you are blocking the road, and they want you to please get the vehicle out, please. Amanda! So, on this note, we now call on the rescue struggle. You know who the rescue struggle is? You know who the rescue struggle is? The man on view is rescue struggle in Mount Gibi County. I wonder if you're wearing that rescue struggle vest today. So, the singer, Padazi, welcome on stage. The Reverend Dr. Luther Tapper, that made juggernaut of the United Party. I say, stand on the existing protocol. My my respect to all the platform guests and to all of you who have sacrificed this time to be with us today. Let me tell you, we are going to win this election. 
we are going to win this election. But Liberian people, let me say this. No rescue mission is ever successful without sacrifice. Liberians home and abroad, whatever we can do to rescue our country, let's do it. I was at the July 26th celebration as a tenure pavilion. And the Ghanaian president to us, he said this country has so much potential. Liberia can do better than what she's doing now. I want to say to you, Liberians everywhere around the world, let us own this rescue mission. We have been voting with emotion. This time, vote with vestation. Let us vote that we are out. Let's say no to hunger government. Let's say no to Kush government. Let's say no to corruption government. Let's say no to inept government. I believe with JMB, who is not here but attending his granddaughter wedding tomorrow in America. I want all of us to give him a wave and tell him we love him. I know he's watching us. And I want to leave this one with you. After this moment, now that the campaign headquarters is open, let's go into the trenches. Let's go into the schools, into the mosques, into the churches. Let's go on the street. Let's spend our own money. This is a rescue mission that will bring prosperity, development, and tranquility to Liberia. I want to say to you, when you know wherever Jaria is, go and tell him to pack the bed. Let the man pack it bed and leave our country alone. Thank you very much. Thank you. Amanda! Amanda! So, so if you are anywhere, if you are anywhere around now, please come in. If you are in the back, please come. If you are anywhere in the back, beyond the building, outside the fence, please come in. A giant is about to speak. If you are at the back, please come to the front. So let me take this time and, and kindly appreciate the Boaca Conscious Movement. As you are here, the team is working. You look on the building. Our auxiliaries are working. So we want to say thank you to the Boaca Conscious Movement. Thank you for the hard work. We recognize your work. So on this note, let me also recognize the most of our county chairperson, Honorable Robert Vestman, and recognize the vice chair for international affairs, Honorable Ben Fofana, who is here, and all other national executive committee members, our auxiliary leaders that are here, will recognize you. Let me now call on the microphone the powerful female in our party, the second in command. She is also a candidate or an aspirant in Grand Cape Man County. So she will do for us the introduction of the second biggest man in the country. The second one. So let me now take this time and call on they say, and on this microphone, Madam Daba Mabani Vapla, who will introduce Rescue 2. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All protocols observed. Who here in OJKK? Hey, on OJKK? Let me hear JKK. work has been done yet. And let me, before I present to you the rescue tool, say thank you to the rescue team for such a very wonderful job. You know, you know the new Joseph, right? Some of you are Christians, you know Joseph. And even the Muslims here know Joseph, right? A wonderful man in the Bible and the Quran. 
And so when Joseph started thinking, and Joseph started looking, and Joseph looked at the situation our country is in, and he decided that indeed I want a prophet to join me along with all the other rescue family to rescue Liberia. He went way up to Manimba. Say Manimba. And got a man who is the people's magnet. The man that Nimba can't just say, and you have former superintendent of Akopo. Nimba can't just say, we can't leave our son alone. And today, we are here to present to you the man that even where in Cape Town, when you enter in Gola Kone, in Papa, in Tewa, in Gaula, you hear the man Jeremiah Pahako. So I am pleased and very honored to present to you a son of this soil, a son who is prepared to assist Joseph Numa Buakai to rescue this country. So it is my pleasing honor to present to you Senator VSD Rescue to Jeremiah Falco. Thank you, DJ. Thank you. You can have your seats, please. Thank you. So we pay that long, right? And after six already, I will be very fast. In Baba Baga, I have to say thanks to all of you for coming. Rescue Mara, the ambassador says thank you. Mr. Chairman, thank you. Rescue Queen, thank you. Mr. Manager, thank you. The chair of Maserato, thank you. All of you on the platform, Ambassador Bragat asked me to say to you, thank you very much. Today, the party, the campaign headquarter is open. You have to keep it busy. Eh? Every day, we got to do something here, right? This election, the government is campaigning for us. Every day, the government put more Liberian data up and the rate go up. The government is campaigning for us. Every time the price of rice go up, the government is campaigning for us. Every time the speaker, the deputy speaker, the protest, the president pass through Cote d'Ivoire to go to the southeast, the government is campaigning for us. So we won this election. All we need to do is to man our ballot. And that's why the Rescue Alliance, through Ambassador Baka, have instructed the chairman of the United Party and all other party chairs to write next and inform our international partner that this election result we want the result to be announced by electoral district. We want no 3,000 vote being checked and somebody got 30 percent. No, we don't want it. If we got 800 plus representative candidates and the National Election Commission will need them one one in that district, there are 20 presidential candidates. And even you need me, five of them are the first time runner. In our heart, in like that 73 district, right? So we are running back and we'll be waiting for that response. We'll take nothing from them. Then announcing the election result by electoral district. By that, we'll follow, we'll defeat President. We are more than 65% here. The only option that what the CDC is to cheat. That's the only option the CDC got to win this election. They are in disarray. 
they are helped us to scatter, and all we need to do is to mark our balance. Once you check the ballot by electoral district, we are more than 100% sure we we'll beat this government out of power. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Among uh, Among uh, so all our entertainers be getting set, be getting set. We are here to celebrate. The program is not over. We are going to celebrate, celebrate until you get tired. And when you get tired, let me announce again. If you are feeling funny, and the back there with all the rescue nurses, they are there to take care of you. If you feel funny, go there and go take a BP. We got paracetamol with you also. So on this note, I'd like to recognize uh, Mr. Mohamed Kumar, the Sawas of the Jolene Party. And I call on this platform, the national chairperson of the women, I mean all the women in the Republic of Liberia. The number one women chair in the Republic of Liberia. And I call on Madam Selina Mbappe, who is going to do for all a vote of thanks. The rescue mother decided to call this place center. She didn't say her daughter. She said center. You know why she said center? So I was looking all oh, around. So why the woman said center? So I decided to take the dictionary and define what the meaning of center is. And so from the Oxford dictionary, this is why it says. They say center is a point from which an activity or process is directed or on which it is focus. So all of the activities of the campaign, the rescue. So in her mind, she said, this is where it's going to be directed and it's going to be focused so that we move and we move with the we are for power. So thank you very much. DJ, please drop the music as our VIP, as our VIP walk down. Please hear the corridor. Our interviewer. Thank you. 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 Thank you.